Hi guys, my name is Jana and today I want to make a knitted necklace with you guys and for that you need two colors of seed beads and a 4mm bead. I use size 11 Oh Miyuki's and Swarovski's for these but you can use whatever you want if you have other kinds of uh, cheaper beads then go ahead use them as long as they're two different colors. Uh, I'm using my Swarovski bicons because I just love my Swarovski's I will always be working with Swarovski's but you can use a 4mm pearl doesn't have to be a Swarovski or as long as it's something that's 4 millimeters. Uh, you can also use these two seat beads in different sizes if you like, but I kind of like to keep them close together. These are both size 11 seat beads, but when I put them together you will see that the, the, four, the, the blue one is a little bigger than the black one. Okay, you also need Ceylon thread, about three arm spans wide. This is Ceylon AA. I'm using black which will show, of course, in the bicones, but I don't care. And at the end, you will need to put on a stopper bead and leave about this much space. So just like, well, that goes, yeah. When you fold it double, you got about this. Okay, so that's a stopper bead. Use it in a different color because you don't want to mix them up by accident and go through the wrong bead if you put on a black or a blue at the end. So what we're gonna do is you have three arm spins white, your stopper bead is on there and we're gonna start off with five seed beads of your color A which is my black and I will refer to as so. Then we're gonna one bicone, two black ones, three blue ones, two black ones, a bicone and four black ones. Okay, so I went too fast for you. Start off with five black ones, one bicone, two black ones, three blue ones, two black ones, a bicone, and four black ones. Now you're going to pull that to the end of your thread. And then you're going to go into the very last black one. Now see if you had used a black one here you might have been mistaken going through this one. So just push that through the last one and then just pull everything together again. And now we have our first loop. So for the next one we're gonna add three blue ones and five black ones. And then we're gonna go. We're gonna go into that Swarovski right here. And we're gonna pull that all the way through. Now we're gonna add two black ones and five blue ones. Three. Four, five, and then a black one again. And we're going to pull that all the way to the bottom. And now we're going to go back into the first two blue ones, right there, skipping over the black one you last added. I'm going to pull that tight by holding the black one there. And we're going to add three blue ones. One, two, three. Then that's those three. We're going to copy that now. Then we're going to add two black ones. One, two, a Swarovski. One. And then we're going to go one, two, three, four. And we're going to go up through that one. So we're going to do four. One, two, three, four, because these, this one, this fifth one, is joined with the first row that we did when we went down. So we're going to go in there. And then you have your first one. So we're going to do, again, what we just did. We're going to pick up three blue ones. That's the three blue ones. We need five to go down but only four to go up because 
this one is joined. So we need one, two, three, four, five, and then we're going to go into that Swarovski. And this is very difficult when you can't hold it yet, but it will get better. See? So now we're going to do this area again. So that's two black ones. One, two. That's one, two, three, four, five blue ones. Last two are joined. One, two, three, four, five. And then it's one black one right there at the bottom. So we got that. And the last two are joined, so we're going back up through the last two. And make sure that's nice and tight, okay? Because you don't have a second chance on getting that tight. There. And then we follow this path again. So that's one, two, three blue ones. One, two, three. Two black ones. One, two. And we're not going back through that Swarovski, so that means we need a new Swarovski. And then we're going to go up four, because we're going to join the threads in there. Okay, that's four black ones. One, two, three, three, four black ones. And join in that fifth one on the other side there pull that through and now you have your second one so you're gonna do that again now you already have like an example so it's easier to follow so it's one two three on the top blue ones one two three five when you go down five black ones one two three four four five and then they cross in the bicone okay cross in the bicone or join in the bicone actually this one is and then we got we're on this side we got one two black ones one two then we got one two three four five blue ones one two three, four, five, and we got one black one, black one, and the threads move up in these last two blue ones, and then we got one, two, three, or one, two, three blue ones that we need to go up. One, two, three. We got two black ones. One, two. We got a bicone. And we got one, two, three, four black ones. Because they're going to join up in the fifth one. And that's that one right there. So basically you're going to do this until you're all the way at the end of your thread but make sure wherever you end that your thread is long enough to go back all the way on the top and have some extended thread left over so make sure you got plenty of thread coming out at this end I will show you how to do that when you almost run out of thread so I would say pause me now till you get there and I will show you what's next when you've come out of this black seed bead um, we're going to go into the three blue, right here. And this you won't see at many of the tutorials. I, I Actually, I don't think you'll see at any of them. But here's where the little perfectionist in me comes in. I want a bead to go in between there. And I'm going to take, you can take the blue ones, but then it's going to be all blue on the top. I like to kind of mix that up and put the black 
seat beats in between the blue ones like that. Okay, so we're going to do that until we reach the end and both threads are on the left side there again. So just go and put those seat beats in between all those blue seat beats there. Okay? And pause me until you get that done and I'll show you the rest. Okay, I'm now adding my last one. And then I'm going to pull that tight, put this together and pull it tight. And I'm going to go down these five into the bicone and the seed beads into the blue seed beads into the black seed beads into the bicone and the seed beads above it. If you can grab them right away, that would be cool. If not, just do them one by one. Going into that last black seed bead, and I'm going to turn that up like that. And I'm going to take this one off, this stopper bead off. Shouldn't be too difficult. There! And I'm going to take this and triple knot it. in a round circle now, you will see that it will be a little bit shorter as you expected it to be. So we still need about a quarter of the necklace, which means we'll have to make it a little longer than a quarter, and finish up the part that comes here. So what we're going to do is we're going to start all over again from the beginning, and I will show you the footage again how we started off doing this, because by now you've probably forgotten. So. Get about an arm span and a half, that should be enough. And start at the beginning again. But your stopper bead is on there, and we're going to start off with five seed beads of your color A, which is my black, and I will refer to as so. Then we're going to one bicone, two black ones, three blue ones, two black ones a bicone and four black ones. Okay, so I went too fast for you. Start off with five black ones, one bicone, two black ones, three blue ones, two black ones, a bicone, and four black ones. Now you're gonna pull that to the end of your thread. And then you're gonna go into the very last black one. Push that through, the last one, and then just pull everything together again. And now we have our first loop. Okay, so it's time to attach both parts. Make sure you went all the way to the bottom and you got your black seed bead on there. You turned back into the two blue ones. Now we're gonna add three more blue ones and two more black ones on the needle. Put that down for a second. And get your other part of the necklace where you finished up. You just turn it around, doesn't matter. It doesn't have a front and a back. And then this goes into that blue bicone right here. And careful. Now, we need another four seed beads, black, and go in here. And 
and then we need another three to cross over so that's one two three and then we cross over into the black seed bead right here that's in front of the blue ones and then you're gonna go down into the bicone if you can grab it through all the black seed beads and there you have it now you need to have the black seed beads in between here so we're going that way to find a route that will lead us here somewhere here so we can go through these seed beads and put the black seed beads in between there so we're going to go down I'm going to go through all the blue seed beads and the black seed bead. I'm just going to turn that around a little bit. It's easier for me to hold. So we got the three done here, the three blue ones. And we're going to go into the two blue ones there. I'm going to grab that black one and go up. Please don't take shortcuts where you go from this blue third blue one to the first third blue one there. First of three. Just go like this. I'm gonna go up these four. Well actually five. ones there into the three come out in front of that black one that you put in between there and we're gonna go down again into five and the bicone into the two black ones into the five blue ones get that in there right away I might as well go into that black one too if you can do it nope into the black one back up into two blue ones up the three blue ones and two black ones and the bicone if you can just push it along as far as possible and now we're gonna go up these four black ones and then the fifth one and we're gonna come out in front of that blue uh, black seed bead and then we're gonna turn around And there we have it, that's where we want to be. Going through the three blue seed beads. And we're going to start adding the black one in between again. All the way to the end. So pause me now and uh, start me again when you get to the end. Now don't forget when you get to the end to go down these beads all the way around and get that stopper bead off and then tie up three times okay don't forget this very important don't want beads falling off of your project here not if it took you about two or three hours at least to make this Last one, we go up and we take the stopper bead off. And we 
going to tie that up with three knots. One and two and three. Now, let me tell you, I am a person that is always freaky about her stuff falling apart. I sell my jewelry and I hope in the future you will too. So what I want you to do is make absolutely sure this will not fall apart and if it does it will not be because of you. Therefore what I do with this kind of necklace is I take a fire line and I just take one thread and go all the way on the to top through here all the way to the end so I got three threads on both sides but that's that's just for uh, security sakes and it makes me feel better let me put it like that you don't have to but if you really want to make sure it's good and that because fire line is a lot stronger uh, I want to put the beads on this here and make uh, the loop so with the fire line I feel better about it okay so let me get some fire line uh, that's zero zero six and then we can continue this. And we're just going to do this the same way. We're going to put the stopper bead on there. And we're going to tie that on the fire line. And you just need to tie that once with the fire line. So that's good. Get that on the needle. And I'll just start at the beginning. Get these threads out of the way. And the beginning are the three blue seed beads. Okay, so it's not the black one because everything comes out of the black one. And just push it through as much as possible. But be careful you don't skip any beads because then you will have fire line coming uh, out and going over one of the seed beads and that would be ugly. So, just go all the way like this to the other end. And pause me now and I will show you what to do when we get there. Okay, I'm coming out of the blue right here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have myself a blue loop. I think I'll have a blue loop. So. I'm gonna grab five, two, three, four, five. This is the loop for the ring. So I got the five seed beads on the fire line and I'm going to take my th uh, needle off and then and we're going to cross both of these black threads through these five seed beads and you can pull that tight again because that knot is coming loose. I got my first one on my needle and I'm going to go through these five seed beads. That's my first thread. Now I need the other thread to also go through there. There. And now that we managed that, I'm going to tie up the two threads with the one fire line. And tie that twice. Tie that nut tight. And two. And I'm going to pick up my fire line and I'm going to go through that little loop a couple of times. That's to make sure that when you put your ring on there, it doesn't uh, just kind of skip over the thread and go out if you didn't close that up well enough. That's why you always got to make sure you close it up well enough, but just in case it happens that the ring just takes this part and flips out. So I'm going to go through the five seed beads a couple of times around and around.
gone around twice <coughs> and I will go around with the black thread also but when I've gone around twice I'm gonna go down with the fire line into this black seed bead I think the knot is right there there let's pull the knot out that we made it's easier Just gonna go around. Like that, and I'm gonna come out of the bike home right there. I'm gonna take one of the black threads, go around in that loop again. harder so that's a really tight loop and I'm gonna try and go in this seat bead again oh only the first one And then I'm going to go down the four seed beads to meet up with my fire line. And then I'm going to tie four knots and pull that knot into the bicone. I have this thread on here. That's the first one I'm going to go work with. I'm going to take that down and pull my knot in that bicone. Okay, I'm going to cut this off. There. That leaves our other black thread. And don't cut off the fire line. Just leave the fire line on there. other thread and I'm gonna go down the blue ones come out just go into the first three blue ones and I'm gonna go down here into the bicone and down the black seed beads blue ones I'm gonna go in there get that black seed bead again get that fire line out of the way black seed into the black seed bead up the two blue ones three blue ones, the two black ones, and the bicone, and preferably all in one go. There, we're going to leave it right there. I'm going to pick up the fire line now. I'm going to go up the seat beads, the black ones.
all five of them. It's going to be hard to get through there, but it should be done. There. And now we're going to go through the three blue ones. And we're going to go down five black ones to get our threads to meet up. And here we're going to nut that off. That four knots. One, two, three, and four. And we're going to go into the bicone. that knot in here. Pop. And we're going to take the fire line and go down. I'm going down, going down four. Now we're going to cut off the fire line. And then we're going to pick up the black thread one more time. Just stick that up there through four seed beads or five, whatever you desire. There. Got that pulled tight. Cut that off. And you got a little loop for your necklace. And don't forget when you you got a little loop for your jump rings. Don't forget when you add the necklace extension to add a little dangle, you know, with the Swarovskis and to protect them by little seeds beads. Okay, that's about it. Just do this on the other side. Put your jump rings in there and you clasp and, uh, and you're done. And for those of you who don't know how to do the clasp, there will be a link underneath the video right now.